Welcome to part two of the Peterbilt 359 build up. Um, work starts on the chassis. Um, it basically is uh, the, uh, the number one uh, of the instructions there. Um, now, what I've done so far is I've cut out, or, or, or sorry, I've, I've removed all the main components that we need at the moment uh, from the sprue. So we've got five, uh, sorry, six parts uh, that go in between the two uh, main components of the chassis to build it. So we, we're building the, uh, the ladder frame chassis. Um, we've also got these two uh, templates, if you like, uh, that we need to use. Because what we need to do when we got the parts in, we need to set this up so we know that it's absolutely straight. Um, this will then need to be clamped to the surface to make sure that uh, it does actually remain straight whilst it's gluing. <coughs> so I've taken all the parts off, I've cleaned them all out, I've got rid of all of the, uh, the marks where we've uh, released it from the trees. Uh, the whole of the chassis itself is going to be painted in black. Um, I think that's what it calls for in the instructions, but uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that in black. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, Americana um, acrylic black on this, and then I'll just go over it with some uh, semi-gloss or uh, semi-matte um, lacquer just to seal that in. Um, I will be using um, water-based acrylics for this for the whole build including the uh, the bodywork as well I'm uh, not sure uh, what colours I'm going for I do know it's going to be a two-tone but I'm not quite sure as uh, as yet as, as to how that two-tone effect is going to is going to look to be honest um, but we'll soon find out you know I've got a little bit of ways to go yet before I have to really decide on, on how I'm doing that uh, but yeah, as you can probably see here, we've got all of the little parts that I need out to begin with. Uh, they've all had a little sanding down just to help get rid of the rough spots and also get rid of some of the flashing that was on there, which to be quite honest, there wasn't a lot. Um, and just to give you an idea how big this thing is going to be, uh, just one side... Uh, so there's one end and then we just sort of come into the other end there. So this whole thing is uh, 48 centimetres in width or just under uh, 19 inches. So yeah, it's going to be pretty big. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big model once this has been built. Um, but yeah, so this is the first part that I need to work on. The idea is, is that these inner parts we glue into one side of the truck or one side of the chassis. Uh, once they're dried, we can then put the um, glue the other side in, and then sort of use these parts here to uh, make sure that the, sh the chassis remains straight as all of the parts are gluing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get get the parts in, get them glued, wait for sort of like a, an hour or so, so I know that they're sort of set pretty much well uh, and then glue the other side of the ladder frame chassis on and then get them into the templates and then leave them there overnight just to make sure that they set up good and proper uh, so as soon as I got it to that point uh, I will come back to you uh, and let you know whether I've had any issues or whatever um, during that process So we've got the uh, main parts of the, uh, the uh, ladder chassis frame done. Um, was a little bit fiddly to be fair getting that uh, together because you, you've got the two main long parts and then you've got uh, the, the six parts that go in between. Um, and obviously being at this length as well it's a little bit difficult, a little bit tricky to, to make sure that everything gets in and uh, it, it's in place properly. Um, and because I think I, uh, I said a few minutes ago, the uh, the actual chassis itself was uh, a little bit warped. Um, so basically, what I've done is not only have I put it in the templates to keep it uh, on an even keel, 
Um, I also use tape on it as well at the points where we've, we've put the internal structure on just to make sure that that does actually hold properly. Um, I'm now not going to touch that until tomorrow morning so I know that the glue is actually cured properly overnight. And the good thing is, is obviously because this is plastic on plastic, I know that we're going to have a really good uh, bond uh, between the glue and the plastic. So that's that's always good news. Um, what I've also done as well is um, I do believe that these are the air tanks uh, that go on the kit um, as well. So I've got those glued up uh, and also, as you can see, clamped to help. Um, now I've purposely left a little bit of glue to squidge out around the edges and what I'm hoping that's going to happen by the time I actually come round and, and uh, sand that all down that will actually take care of the seams for me. Um, these I'm not going to be able to put on straight away um, tomorrow because they are going to need to be painted a different colour. The actual um, chassis itself needs to be, needs to be painted matte black. Um, and I think there are most probably a few components that need to be painted different colours but definitely these ones uh, they need to be painted in uh, they need, oh, sorry I'll put my teeth back in they need to be painted in aluminium and then these little things here uh, need to be painted in steel uh, and we've got two of those as well so there's, there's the other one um, so I'm going to paint those separately. I most probably hopefully get those painted tomorrow. And then once this has come out of glue, I'm then going to um, get all of the other parts on this that I can do uh, that can all be painted in this semi-gloss black. Uh, and then once I've done that, I'll paint the whole thing and then I can do all the other little subtle assemblies to it. Things like these, these little airbags here as well, I'll be able to do those in the black rubber. Um, as well once everything's been sprayed down properly um, so yeah it's um, I think it's going to take a little bit of time to do this truck actually because I think most parts on this are sort of quite big and they're going to take quite a bit of time to, to dry and you're not going to be able to do anything with them until they dry off properly um, so yeah I've got a funny feeling this is going to take a little while to build but uh, hey ho never mind you know um, Press repay gives me more time to think about the exact colour scheme for this truck. Um, so that's about it for the moment, guys. I will catch up with you um, in a bit and show you some more of the progress where, when I've made some. We've got a bit more work carried out to the chassis of the uh, Peterbilt. I think I might just start calling it the 359 actually. It's going to be cheap. It's not cheaper. <laughs> it's, it's going to be uh, easier. Um, but yeah, we spent uh, quite a bit of time actually on getting this done. Um, as you know, we'd already got the, uh, the ladder frame chassis part of it put in. Um, that was left overnight to set. Uh, and what I've done is I've also, uh, throughout today, whilst I've been working on it, I've just used uh, bits of tape really uh, just to make sure that uh, you know that the glue is uh, going to continue curing properly um, so it doesn't upset the joints but we've got a lot of work carried out to the front end so far and that's kind of pretty much all looking like that there's quite a few parts that have gone into uh, building that particular section uh, and then we've got uh, these white parts here as well uh, that have gone in. Uh, we've also put on the back end, we finished setting up these parts here uh, and these parts. And then we've also put the, I think, the, these, well, these are part of the air suspension. So they've been put in as well. Um, so I'm just really waiting for everything to dry properly uh, once all of these bits have dry um, I'm just going to then go back in and sand those uh, in the areas that that need the sanding just to make sure that they're all straight level and flush um, we've also got uh, a couple of bits uh, painted on the sprue uh, in the um, steel metallic steel color uh, that we need uh, and then we've also got uh, another couple of parts there as well, uh, there and there, oh, painted in the steel, that's for the front 
wheel assembly. Um, so we've got those done, so they need to dry. I mean, I'm not doing anything else to the model today, just waiting for everything to set up and dry. So but all of those bits are done. The other um, bits that we've managed to do is I believe they are air tanks. Uh, so we've got those uh, painted uh, in the silver uh, and they're looking quite good. Um, like in the way that they've come out. The only thing that I've got left to do is uh, these there's three little nozzles like uh, this one on all of them. They need to be painted in the, in the um, steel, in the metallic steel, so I can get those done once they've finished drying off properly. Uh, but I won't be attaching those to the frame until such time that I've got the framework completed. Um, the reason being is that most of the stuff that's on the chassis calls for it to be done in um, a semi-gloss black uh, with a few components that are done in uh, a different, you know, a, a few different colours. Um, so I don't want to paint the whole thing. I don't want to put the whole chassis together and then start masking off individual bits to paint them different colours. That's going to be a bit of a nightmare. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build everything up to the point that I can, um, then paint it black, then add all the other parts on it that I need to, and then I'll put the uh, the satin coat over the top of that, and then that'll, that'll do. Um, but we are up to, um, I think, uh, point number 18 in the instructions now. Oh no, sorry, point number 16. Um, currently in the process of doing uh, 18, 19 and 20 uh, for the front uh, wheel parts there. Uh, but I've kind of skipped ahead slightly and done parts 21, 22 and uh, 23 uh, because they are the parts uh, for all of the airbags etc at the back. So I've kind of skipped a couple of steps and, and moved ahead. Not a big issue really as far as I'm concerned there. Um, as I say because uh, those parts get done when they get done. So that's about it for the moment guys. I will come back to you uh, as soon as I've made some more progress on this uh, chassis. Hopefully um, we have uh, most of the parts on the chassis uh, and, and it be ready for uh, painting. Uh, so I will catch up with you soon. The chassis has been taken as far as it can for the moment. Uh, there are uh, a few other bits and pieces that need to be stuck on um, but we can't do those until we get it painted uh, plus the fact there are a few other little bits and pieces as well that need to be painted black that I can't get on until such time that I've put the uh, the other parts on that need to be painted other colours so the next step for me now is to uh, paint this whole thing uh, semi black so I'm going to use the uh, Americana uh, black acrylic paint and then I'm just going to spray it uh, down after that with the uh, Alclad uh, light sheen which should uh, lend the um, color, should lend it the, the sheen that I need it really to be quite honest uh, once that's been done I'll then be able to get all of the other bits and pieces put on uh, some of the bits that I need to get on are these uh, bits here I've got two there and then I've also got two down there um, I need to get those done but so I'm gonna need to paint those black whilst they're on the sprue and then I'll just be able to get those uh, put on they actually fit onto the if I can find them there we go they fit onto these little wheel hubs here um, I've already painted those in the steel color uh, and these parts will uh, fit onto the rear axles um, and then those parts these little black parts oops I've dropped them so yeah these little black parts um, fit into 
the uh, the steel drums here uh, on these little locate located pins. Um, ones there on there, so um, and I can't put those on until such time that I've got those on, which now means it's time to paint this. Um, but we've not done a bad job actually. I think it's taken about four days to get to this point. Um, it's not looking too bad. It's uh, horrendously long, 48 centimeters in length. It doesn't really fit in shot, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not looking too bad if we put it up the right way. Um, that's what it's looking like, and then we just uh, <laughs> yeah, this is uh, a, a bit big. Um, but, uh, it's uh, so far proven to be uh, a good little build actually. I'm quite enjoying it. Once I've got this done, uh, the next thing to move on to, uh, or once I've got the chassis done, the next thing uh, that I need to move on to is the engine and get that installed. Um, and then be uh, working on the bodywork. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's going to take a little time to get this built. It is absolutely huge and it takes up a lot of, uh, takes up a lot of time actually, believe it or not. Um, but there you go, so I will come back to you um, as soon as I've got this uh, wee beastie uh, with some paint on it. Okay, so we've got uh, most of the uh, the chassis put together. There's just a, a few little bits left that need to go on there that I'm not going to put on just yet. They'll be put on more towards the end. Um, but we're up to um, what I'm referring to as step 29 and a half. Um, in step 30 uh, we needed to get this uh, brace on at the back which we've done but then it also calls for you to get the lights on both sides as well and then they just stick out a little tabs on the back end now as I'm going to be lighting this kit um, I don't want to get those in and all the wires run through um, because if we have a little accident break those uh, lights then we're going to have to replace the whole lot so I'd rather do those as one of the last little bits um, that's why I say that this is sort of step 29 and a half the only other thing that's left to go on the top there really is um, the trailer hitch so we've got that bit there I've already painted the top part silver um, the other side of that or the um, the outside edges of that I just paint black I just mask over that and then just paint those black and then this bit there also needs to be painted black as well um, we've also got the mud guards or mud flaps or whatever they are that need to go on as well um, so we've got the ones that go on at the front there and then the ones that go on the back um, but uh, they'll be pretty much well some of the last things that go on there as well um, but yeah we've uh, painted everything black um, we've got the um, all the black has then been uh, clear coated in the light sheen from our clad and then we've got what I think are the drum brakes um, or the air brake or parts of the air brakes in there um, they've been done in uh, a steel colour and then put on and then we've got uh, the air tanks on the bottom as well um, so that's uh, that's looking quite good. I'm quite happy with the way that this is actually uh, sort of starting to turn out. It uh, is starting to look quite good. I did have um, a little problem uh, with uh, the paint, um, and I don't know how the hell it done it. To be quite honest, if we just move that out of the way a second, um, the Americana paint that I've been using. I'll just get my little pot out here. Um, <laughs> it went really really weird on me and uh, started to go really stringy um, I have no idea what the hell happened, the only thing I can think of is maybe it was the age of the paint um, you know I, I've treated the paint exactly the same as I always do uh, with no problems and I went out, I went out and brought some uh, some new paint and I had absolutely no problem with that so I can only presume that there was an issue with uh, the old paint but if we you can see how stringy that paint is already and then if I um, I've lost it now 
it's in here trust me this is this is kind of what happened to the paint it's gone it's like rubber so really not sure what the hell went on with that paint but uh, it took me a good three hours to um, unblock and clean up my airbrush after that so uh, yeah was not happy um, <laughs> but there you go so the next step for me is to uh, sort the engine out so um, I'm just going to get all the parts out for that and uh, take a look at those and as soon as I've made a little bit of progress on that I will come back to you